song, which means math. What do I mean by my math? Math is normally used to change the facial makeup and it intends to explain or show a certain characteristic in terms of actions and reactions. In psychological terms, personality refers to our characteristic way of responding to individuals. Therefore, I believe you outline some of the factors that are Alright, well, now we shall continue. We shall be talking about the theories that are filled with personality. There are quite a lot of theories that are filled with personality. And we shall talk about a few here. First of all, we shall talk about psychoanalytic theory. This theory was founded by Freud King Mangum. This guy was a psychiatrist who was born in Italy. He came up with this church because the guy was working in, in a hospital. Where he was working with people who were mentally ill. So the theory talks about more about personality and the, the theory has actually has got three features. And three, these three features include the ID, the ego, and the super ego. Now for us to understand very clearly why this person came up with this theory, we shall try by all means to identify what the ID and the ego and super ego what is. So for the ID, this is a part of the brain that actually seeks this. Let me say this. On the brain there is a part that seeks, or maybe it just wants us to do whatever we want to do, just there and then. It, it, what it needs is just the immediate satisfaction. For example, whereby if there is a baby, baby at home, the baby may be whereby the baby may, may be looking or the baby can want something from the parent. For example, I give an example by the baby is looking for food at home. Whether there's no food at home, maybe there's food at home, the baby still wants to eat the food. That's what they are calling ID. They don't they, they just want the thing right there and this and then. That's what the ID. Then about the ego, that's man the yes, the ego, that's actually what there is, a, there is bait in the mind whereby if you, if you, for example, like in, in our age, maybe, everybody is there, cannot go on, but I can't go on. For example, whereby they are, you have got an argument with a friend. So you two friends, maybe, maybe one of your friends, you are wrong. And then you have got that conscious that, yeah, but I was wrong. Maybe I was not wrong, but it's like you are depressing within yourself. Should I go on, or maybe I should not go on? Get the point, right? Yes, that's the point. So there is a trick of bait inside our mind. That's what they are going the ego. Then about the super ego. These are things that are in the society. That things that we have learned from our parents in the society and from our friends. Yeah, but like, no, in this society you must not cheat. So whatever you do in this society, yeah, but if you make something wrong, you have got that concept that no, what you have done is wrong. So the super ego helps us realize that there are some things in this world that are not things that we are, we are not supposed to do. That's what they are going to the super ego. So this type of analytic theory helps us to understand what a person or a person or a person can be. That's what they are asking for you. Thank 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 you. Uh, actually, this theory says that personality was actually wrong. Continue you. Throughout lifetime. And he actually presented eight distinct stages. And successfully completion of these stages. As in each of these stages leads to a healthy personality. These stages, actually, I'm going to name them. To start with infancy, which is the first stage. Early childhood, play age group, school age group, adolescent. Young adolescent, adulthood, and uh, finally mature 
adulthood. I'm only going to talk about few of them due to time. Young adulthood. This is a stage whereby a person begins to open up and becomes more intimate with the other. For example, being close to a friend. The second one, adulthood. Uh, this is the stage whereby a person as